Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Hi, this is Victor from Twit, and today I will be reviewing two mobile Wi Fi drives the SanDisk Connect Wireless Flash Drive and the Kingston Mobile Lite Wireless. These two devices try to solve the same problem lack of storage on your mobile device, like your phone or your tablets. Here's how they work. After turning on the Wi-Fi drive, connect directly to the drive through your Wi-Fi settings. Because you're connecting with an ad hoc Wi-Fi connection, you will lose your connection to the internet. Each device has their own respective app available on the iTunes App Store, Google Play, and Amazon App Store. You can also browse a drive using a browser on your computer or wireless device. Even though connecting to each device is the same, as you can see, they both have different form factors and how you would use it would be different because of their features. So let's start with the SanDisk Connect wireless flash drive. The SanDisk Connect is a USB 2 flash drive and mounts as one when you connect it to your computer. They come in capacities of 16, 32, or 64 gig, but only the 64 gig model supports XFAT formatting for large file sizes. The internal battery can last about four hours. The SanDisk Connect can stream to three devices simultaneously, and 720p video streams fine, although SD video is more reliable. One thing to keep in mind is when it's plugged into a computer, it turns off Wi-Fi and is only a flash drive. The app is actually well designed and browsing files on the drive is smooth. However, it gets quirky when you need to change your wireless settings, such as the Wi-Fi network name or if you need to add password protection. So pros for the SanDisk Connect wireless flash drive. It has a small form factor with no extra cables or connections. It has easy connectivity and reliable file transfer. The 64 gig in the microSD port can be taken out for expansion. With the latest updates, the SanDisk wireless flash drive mobile app is well designed for browsing files. Firmware updates can be done through the app and it can play iTunes DRM movies through Safari. Cons? Saving your settings on the wireless app are not really clear. And for the price, at $99, the 64 gig version is more than a dollar a gig. And even though it's a little bit expensive, I would still give it a buy because the software package and along with the hardware make it a great experience. Now, the Kingston Mobileite Wireless would be in the same category as the SanDisk Connect, and it's less expensive, but it has a few caveats. For one, it is a little larger physically in size and you have to supply your own memory. It can be an SD card or a USB drive or both. The Mobileite wireless app allows you to navigate not only the connected drives, but also your device. You can transfer from the drives to your mobile device or vice versa. The most important function with this device, however, is that you can even transfer between the drives such as after a day of shooting photos to back up on another drive. The transfer is actually really fast. I found an SD card with about 380 megabytes of pictures from my DSLR transferred to a USB 2 thumb drive in a few minutes. You can stream to three simultaneous devices and they claim five hours of continuous use. So pros for the Kingston Mobileite Wireless, it's versatile with using different types of drives. Transferring between devices and drives is actually pretty quick. It has emergency charger capability, and this device has Wi-Fi security settings such as being able to hide the SSID. And for the cons, the Mobileite app is slow compared to even the SanDisk Connect app. It claims that it can play iTunes DRM files through Safari, yet I had problems on my old iPod and even on my Mac. Firmware updates are not always through the app. There is one that you will have to download from the Kingston website. Even though I had a few frustrations with the Kingston app, um, it, this would still be a buy just because the versatility of being able to use a USB drive or an SD card and even to be able to transfer files between it. Between the two, if you're in the Apple ecosystem and you wanted to use this mostly for iTunes movies that you've purchased, I would suggest the SanDisk Connect just because it, it handles, the software handles those DRM files better. Like it even prompts you to open Safari automatically when you choose the file. The Kingston was a little more finicky with that. That was a little 
frustration there. But if you needed a way to back up your photos off of your SD card onto a bigger drive, this would actually be a good solution. And there you go. I'm Victor from Twit and this was the SanDisk Connect wireless flash drive and the Kingston Mobileite wireless.